Um, all right. I decided to do this talk um, because at some point I realized that I was organizing most of the sprints, and I thought it's maybe because it's either too hard or because people don't care. And since I preferred it would be the first option, <laughs> I decided that uh, a talk would make it so much easy. Uh, so, well, I think it was, it was around the time I was starting in KDE, so I cannot really put the point in, the, in, in history, but it was around 20, uh, 2006 or seven that KDV decided that uh, sprinting or organizing developer and contributor meetings was a way to um, well, put money to use to improving uh, KDE software. And well, KDE has been having sprints so far, um, well, lots of them, right? Uh, well, first of all, I am Alesh. Uh, I'm part of the KDV board and I've been developing KDE software since 2007 or so. Um, for now, what you need to uh, see is that I organized several sprints by now. Um, if you say either I'm somewhere where I think that a sprint could happen or I am part of a team that needs to well, meet physically, uh, you will want to well, think about organizing a sprint, right? Uh, basically, and the big TLDR is that you need to think about where, right? Le the big special thing about the uh, KD Sprint is that, well, uh, geof geographical space comes into question. Otherwise, our well, software like gets developed all over the world. Um, I put hack here, but in general, like it wouldn't even need developing, right? Like if you have develop uh, contributors who need to gather and do stuff be it developing, uh, like writing code, or I don't know, documenting, or I don't know, whatever, that, that makes sense. We've had documentation sprints, we've had promo sprints, we've had uh, different kind of stuff. I wouldn't know if documenting would count as hacking, but I'm not a linguist. Um, if anybody is a linguist, tell me. <laughs> it does? Yeah. Sure, then see, hack and sleep. Uh, one would think that people don't sleep and I mean, Admittedly, on a sprint, you wouldn't sleep that much, but you need to, to, to think about that. The, the third thing would be food, but, um, well, it's something that you end up well, worrying more when, when you're there than actually from, um, well, when you're preparing the, the sprint, right? Um, the, the, the KDV will be uh, sponsoring uh, trips, uh, so well, flights or train or cars or I don't know, donkeys, and uh, we'll be sponsoring um, the the sleep, right? So hotel, um, flats or whatever it ends look, looking like. Like we've had very different kind of sprints. We used to have, for example, um, Randa, which was admittedly something very special and specific. Uh, but it was like renting a big house and bringing tons of sprints over there. Uh, we've had uh, sprints where we just hired the house and, well, we slept there and, and hugged there just in different times of the day. Um, we've had uh, sprints, which is actually probably the most uh, common, which is there is a company that is somewhat interested in what we do and they tell us we can go there. We obviously don't go to people's offices to, sli to sleep, so well, we find a hotel or a flat or whatever nearby, and well, we we move around. Um, so, uh, KDV will be uh, sponsoring these and 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 trips. Food uh, is not um, well sponsored, but well, I mean, people will be, will be still having food. You just need to think or make sure that there's more or less restaurants around the area. Or, I mean, for example, in Randa, we didn't go to restaurants. We uh, managed that. So it's, it's a matter of, of having a plan of what are you going to do when people start starving and <laughs> being cranky. That's always useful. So yeah, food. Um, and in general, the process would be you get in touch with the different people who uh, want to meet and see. Uh, right? Who would come? Where are you coming from? Because obviously the budget will look very differently if you have people coming from very different places uh, or they're just around the area. 
when we were starting KD Connect, for example, uh, when we met with, K with Albert, who is also living in Barcelona, we were joking that we we're having a KD Connect sprint, right? Because, I mean, we were meeting and we were kind of the two people doing stuff in KD Connect back then. So, I mean, that was a sprint, right? <laughs> we were obviously not asking permission to the EV to, to do these kind of meetings. But in, um, if you have people from all over the world, you will want to find a place, for example, that is in the, mi in the middle. So, I mean, it's not a matter of like destroying the planet by flying just as far away as possible. If a lot of people want to meet, I don't know, in India, in Asia, because they are there, that's definitely doable. Uh, in, in Brazil, for example, they do Al Academy, which is, I mean, m more than Academy, it's more, um, it looks more like a sprint. I've never been there, but I've, I've looked at the picture, pictures very closely, and yeah. In general, uh, so you will talk to the board, you will say, we will need about 5,000 euros for the sprint, or 10,000, or 3 million, and then, well, we will look at our budget on our end, see uh, if it fits, if it can be do and done, if it's too high, we'll say, why is it so high? If it's not, we will say, just go for it. We will create uh, an entry in reimbursements.k.org, which uh, basically is an event, and then when you tell your fellow contributors or sprint attendees, well, register to reimbursement, then there they will be inputting the right amounts, it will be accounted into a specific budget, and uh, the board or and Albert, who has been helping us with that, uh, will be accepting the people or saying if we need some more information or not. Um, well, we document all of the sprints there. You can actually look at which sprints are happening in, in this wiki. You can look into that. Um, and I didn't really talk much about the sleep, but, um, well, you would uh, find a, a hotel. W what, uh, when I organize a sprint, I like to try to uh, do it myself. Like, you could technically tell your attendees, just go to any hotel you find in that city and get the room. But, well, first, people want a group together and a very interesting way of, well, Economizing is having people share rooms because otherwise, well, you end up getting a double room for every person and it's just double the price. And, well, we're not wasting donors' money, right? So there's that. Um, there's the flat Airbnb kind of formula as well. You can look into that. When, when we had the office in Barcelona, we were having a lot of sprints over there and we knew a flat that was easily uh, hireable for a week or so. And, well, every time that somebody said, I would like to organize a sprint in your office, would that be possible? And I said, yeah, sure. I talked to the guy, he said, uh, would you have space that week? Yeah, sure. And then this was super easy, right? Because, um, well, we already knew each other. I knew that the space was available, what it looked like. Um, there's always some kind of, uh, well, variable, right? If you've never been to the place, so. Uh, there's that. And then scaling. I added this because it happened twice this year that I was organizing a sprint and then somebody wanted to be there as well and somebody else and somebody else. It happened first in Valencia. We started organizing a plasma sprint and then Nate was looking for a place to have a sprint in and then we had the um, usability and productivity sprint over there. It worked out fine. Actually, like all of the research was kind of done. In that case, but, uh, as, like, for location, we had the Slimbook offices in, in Valencia. Um, they had space for more hackers. So, and also the both topics were kind of intertwined. So it made also uh, semantic sense. Then it was a matter of just getting more rooms in the, in the hotel and while well, increasing the budget, of course. But well, both sprints needed the budget anyways. Um, same happened with uh, in the Nuremberg uh, sprint in you know, OpenSUSE um, offices. We started doing a KD Connect sprint, and then there was a uh, onboarding sprint that wanted to or needed the space. I told them, all right, we can have it there. We'll just get some more rooms. And then Queen actually said, and we too. And, well, me too. All right. And we had the, the three of them in Nuremberg, and it worked out quite right. Well, you can ask them. <laughs> But I, I'd say it was okay. 
Uh, one of the things that uh, you need to remember to tell your attendees, and you need to remember yourself as attendees, is that a sprints should ideally have a, well, a new, something on the news in, in .k.org explaining what happened, the, the kind of things you did, that, that, would, that should be there as well. Also, we're asking everybody sponsored uh, in general, also for Academy, so remember to write a blog post or actually the dot story if somebody says, I'm not gonna write about my, what I did, but what we all did, that's, that's fine as well, but everybody should be reporting on, on the planet what, what they've been up to on the, on the sprint. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions here or around Academy. <laughs> so for like almost 10 years ago we did an event with GNOME and we are going to do that again and you are one of the organizers so how is organizing something together with two big communities? <laughs> well that's not a sprint, it looks entirely different. Um, You need to coordinate people from very different backgrounds, and that always takes some kind of toll. But on the other hand, it's brilliant to be able to work together with another big community to be able to do something, uh, well, that is more than the sum of its parts, right? So, well, it's gonna be great. Uh, <laughs> this is not a talk about LAS, but, well, come, uh, all of you are welcome. The, the entrance is for free. Uh, Call for papers closes tomorrow, so send your talks today. We need uh, KD-related topics on, on the program, so do it now, please. Any other question about sprints? Oh. Thank you Thank so you. much.